Well, this picture right here from last night's Hot Country Nights concert at KC Live is making the rounds on social media, and it is raising some concerns. As you can see here, not a lot of masks being worn, hardly any at all, in fact. So what are health experts saying about it? KCTV5's Casey Jones is looking into it. So Casey, were any rules broken last night? Well, not quite. So we are here at Power and Light where there will be another live music event here tonight. You can see behind me, the band is already setting up, but back to the rules. They weren't broken because the mask mandate does not apply to outdoor venues like this one, but social distancing guidelines do still apply. And health officials are concerned that events like this could be unsafe. This photo was taken last night at Hot Country Nights. It's a weekly event at the Power and Light District. You see a lot of um, people that's not keeping a proper distance. As an outdoor venue, Power and Light is not subject to the city's newly extended mask order. A spokeswoman sent us a statement saying in part, we have aggressively limited capacity in the outdoor plaza to well below 50%. As long as the pandemic continues, we will continue to comply with the city's requirements and guidelines and proactively and persistently encourage guests to wear face coverings outdoors while not seated, eating or drinking, including through the use of signage, video reminders, live reminders and the offering of disposable masks for any guests who may not have one. Although it's not in the mandate, health officials say it is important to wear masks anytime you're in a crowded place, even outdoors. People still have to exercise some individual judgment in this. And um, if you're walking into, even if folks had been wearing masks at that event, um, you know, still wouldn't have been safe because um, the social distancing just just wasn't there. This video from opening night two weeks ago shows the layout for Hot Country Nights looks a lot different than in years past. Even to use the restroom or get another beer, you literally have to like physically force your body in between other people to like get out. So that photo we saw was like, that just looked like a typical night at Power and Light. Not my country night. And as the mask mandate, reduced capacity and social distancing requirements continue for at least the rest of the year, some say we should get used to the new normal. For the sake of what's of all mankind and what is good and what is righteous and what's for living, um, protect yourself so that you can uh, protect others. So back out here live at Power and Light, the band behind me is getting ready to perform in the next couple of hours. The tables here are six feet apart. In terms of enforcing these mask mandates, the health department is responsible for that. So while it has become popular to post pictures to social media, if you are concerned about people not adhering to mask guidelines, the health department asks you instead to call 311 or uh, email environmental.health at kcmo.org. That way, the health department can follow up on any of these complaints. They actually have received hundreds of complaints so far. Reporting live from Power and Light, Casey Jones, KCTV5 News. Yeah, a lot of people are calling people out on social media, but as you point out, it does no good if the health department doesn't know about it. All right, Casey, thank you.